Well, this is very exciting. The igloos are here. They arrived in the week. And I've got to say, they're, they're pretty, pretty cool. We do need to get them ready. They need some straw in them. We need to just generally tidy things up. But look, I've had them installed in the corner of the cow pasture here. Look at that. Beautiful thing, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And obviously, we've got all their feed buckets and everything. Uh, each one of these is supposed to be able to take up to five, uh, seven, seven calves. But if I'm honest, that's going to be a bit of a squeeze. I'd prefer not to have seven calves in each one. I'd prefer to have them spread out a little bit more. I mean, I don't even know how many calves we're having, to be perfectly honest. The cows are extremely pregnant, but yeah, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is we are going to I'll close this gate for now to stop any cows wandering around. Uh, we are going to get some some uh, straw sorted. Uh. I need the wheelbarrow for this. Does anybody remember where I put the wheelbarrow? Oh dear. Maybe I, I could just use the telehandler, although wheelbarrow will be easier to empty. Is that it there? Yep, that's a bucket. <laughs> right. Where did I put that wheelbarrow? Ah, here it is. That's right. We'll be using it for the greenhouse. Everything that Abby needs is now into the greenhouse. So she can get started on that as soon as she would like. We need to get this over to the shed with the straw in it. We're going to cut open a bale and start shoveling it in as best we can. And then we can go and spread it out uh, with the shovel itself. Where have I put the sh Oh, the shovel should be next to the cow enclosure, I think. But yeah, it's better to do it this way. Definitely, definitely feels like November now. It is frosty. But, at least it's dry. Beautiful, beautiful day. But, uh, nonetheless, it is chilly. Right, uh, let's leave that there for a second. We will jump in here. And let's go and retrieve a bale. It might be worth, at some point, us, um... Maybe doing some more bedding for the the mummy cows. Maybe we could do that at the same time. But at the moment... Yes, we need to... Get baby cows ready. Sort... Oh, crikey! Ugh. Oh, that was good. I nearly ran over it. Luckily I didn't. That would have been a, a, a flat wheelbarrow and that's no good to anybody uh, right then I think I'll put it in here to um, cut it open and then we could scoop it up with the the shovel <coughs> that'll do nicely uh, right let's move this out of the way right there job done well done Okay, right, I'm going to get this all, the netting all cut off and it's spread out, and then we can start to load it into the wheelbarrow. Well, I'll tell you what, 
those bales then I'll pack it in tightly I just kept expanding and expanding I was just I was wondering worried that uh, we wouldn't have enough room for it all but we do okay there we go let's just tip it into here gonna be a good few shovelfuls to get the uh, wheelbarrow loaded up uh, like that many <laughs> right if I drop that in there we should be able to take it with us hopefully we'll be able to get those igloos sorted out quite nicely Oh, it really is a lovely day today. Now, I need to do a bit of reading up about how to care for calves because we haven't, so far, had any. It's going to be great. It's going to be so good. I think Abby's going to really fall in love with them. Okay. Get this in there. Okay, I'm going to see if I can unload this and get some uh, get some straw laid out into the igloos. I will see you in a bit. Well, it is clear that we are going to need many, many more wheelbarrow loads um, of straw. I mean, that has all gone into one of the enclosures, and it hasn't even covered a quarter of the uh, the ground. So, yes, we're going to be um, going to be doing straw for quite a while, I think. Uh, so, I'm going to crack on. We're probably going to even use most of the bale that we've just um, cut open. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. Uh, the good thing is, obviously with the straw in the igloos, it's going to stay dry, even if it rains. Um, can't help it getting a little bit wet because of condensation, but should stay dry. Plenty of fresh straw though for when they, uh, when they do get here. Right, I'm going to crack on with this. And I will see you in a bit. This is the last of that uh, that first bale. I think it's all going to fit in, to be honest, which is good. We don't have a lot left over. Um, just put that down there for a second. Amazing. So we have straw in both. In both our igloos, which is absolutely fantastic. I do like these ready-made igloos. They cost a bit of, of money, though. In fact, I haven't uh, I forgot to update my bank balance. Uh, let's do that now. Yeah, they were for five hundred pound each, <coughs> which, in the grand scheme of things, actually isn't an awful lot. And we do need them, so 
Yes. The next job, however, is going to be get water over here. Water, and then they will need hay. Not going to be doing the hay until they've arrived. Some grass down there. We can put that in it. No, let's not do that. Right. Uh, oh, let's quickly close the gate. Last thing we want is to be herding cows. And um, and then we can figure out how to do water. Now, I could bring in the water um, Bowser. Might not be a bad move. Get the Massey Ferguson, or the Ferguson, sorry, up and running. <sighs> yes. I've been thinking a lot about getting a, um, maybe a bit of a smaller, but a, a cabbed tractor uh, to help out around as well. An older one. Uh, where am I going with this? Oh, let's just tuck it in over here at the minute all right there we go okay what time is it oh crikey it's nearly lunchtime right um well let's put the, the front loader away and then we can have some lunch that'd be good or do i want to put the front loader away uh probably not because i probably want to get the manure taken out of here. In fact, let's do that now before we have lunch. Because, uh, yeah, that will be good. Mm. Hopefully, we won't have to suffer an empty empty uh, silage, not silage, uh, slurry pit for too much longer. Ah! That was unfortunate. Right, okay. Here we go. This is what we want. Okay. Yep, jobs on this farm are never ending. It's mo mostly looking after animals and such. Uh, chickens. I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to chickens, to be perfectly honest. Love to have eggs for breakfast. Really would be good. But at the minute, cows and sheep are taking most of the attention. That's sorted. Lovely. Yeah, we don't seem to be producing that much manure either, but like I said, hopefully that will change once we get some more family members in. There we go. Ah, <sighs> is a beautiful day. It really is. it back up again without smacking into the slurry pit this time. Good job I didn't smack into the slurry pit. <laughs> right. I think what we're going to do is going to park this in the workshop because it does need a service, a little bit of work. It's been working really hard for us and the older something gets the more servicing it needs so might get that done this afternoon oh switch the beacons off otherwise we'll be draining the battery okay right time for lunch excited about lunch should be good nom 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 we did buy some eggs maybe we could eat the eggs and then compare them 
scrambled egg on toast, I think. A bit of protein. We can compare them to the eggs when we get them. Obviously, our eggs are going to be much nicer. Okay. See you in a bit. Alright. Getting that hitched back up. There we go. Excellent. Right, well, there's our water tanker. I think we will use it, actually, because we, well, we haven't got much in the way of... Uh, much in the way of, of water transport, to be honest, especially by hand or anything like that. Robert! Robert! Hello, Gavin. You okay? What are you doing out and about? We're here to come and see you. I, uh, you just remembered something. Oh, yeah? You got canola. Sorry? Your oil seed rape boy. Yes, it's in the silo. Well, November is the best month to sell it. It is? I thought it was like December, January time. No, did I teach you nothing, boy? I don't know how to answer that. Hmm. Very well. Anyway, we have to sell it, you see. I've rung around and there's a pain view stores. That's the best place to sell it at the moment. You rang around for me? Yes, I... I don't just sit there all day looking pretty, you know. I know. Watch your tongue, boy. I'm sorry. So, uh, you better get to it then. Chop, chop. I was just going to put some water in the, um, in the troughs for the calves. They're not even here yet. Oh, I want to be ready. It's my first time. Well, do that. And then you get on with selling that canola. Never heard it called that before. Oh, okay. I'm going back in. Be the death of me, boy. Huh. He was muttering something as he walked off there, but... Right then, uh, let's get this fired up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is probably the most reliable tractor we've got. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised to see Gavin out here. He's not moving around as, as, as well as he used to be. He's got himself a walking stick now. Which he hates, but uh, that's what he's got. Anyway, good advice for us to get that uh, oil seed rape sold. Anyway, be uh, be good to get some money in. Right, I'll get this tanker filled up, and we'll go and put water in the igloos. And um, well, I suppose we better then sell the oil seed rape. Right, that's us all topped up. Oh, uh, the egg on toast was uh, lovely. Can't wait to try our own eggs, though. That's going to be amazing. I think we've also got some milk building up to sell, you know. It might be worth getting a... Um, le leaving it and getting a tank put in, in, uh, brought in in December. Like one of those big tankers. I'm sure December's a good price to sell milk. Anyway. I'll pop here. Let's get these two filled up, shall we? I may have actually put this this corner one in an awkward position. I didn't really consider that when but they were offloading them over the over the, the wall. Right. I'll drain these out then.
Well, that's two tanker loads, one in each. Well, the buckets are deceiving. Right. Let's get this closed. I think that is pretty much all we're going to do for for now. Um, yes, we uh, we are ready for when the calves come along, and I don't know when that'll be. I'm hoping it's going to be soon. I really am. Okay, so let's get this put away in here. And then based on Gavin's desperation and advice, we need to get the trailer hooked up so that we can take the oilseed rape and get that sold. Now this is going to be a, a well, hopefully, going to be a really good income. This is the fruits of our labour in the little field. All right, about. Let's get it all hitched up. Hoses, PTO. Good job done. Just, yeah, that's that's all right. It's all good. Okay. Need to get the trailer under that hose without driving it into the silo. Right. Now. Uh, ah. Is that under enough? Enough? Probably. Um. Let me figure this out and I'll get back to you. Right. It was all figured. Job done. So, we need to head off to Pineview stores now. We have the full load of canola off of that... Or, so, or seed rape off that field. Which is fantastic. I'm expecting this to be a nice little learner for us. Well, I'm hoping so, anyway. Otherwise, what's the point in it? I do think that we get more money from the cows in terms of milk and things than we do from... from... maybe the... arable crops. But we've got a lot of wheat to, to, to sort out. At least... well, I think... Maybe two or th even three trailer loads of wheat to sort out. At some point. Well, that's going to be, obviously, when we... Uh, when we get around to selling that, maybe December or January. I'm sure Gavin will keep us updated anyway. Seems that's what he does now. Right. I know where I'm going. I've been there before. Slightly different area, but it's the same industrial estate, so I shall see you in a minute. Okay, here we are. And I think the green bit is over here. I want to be sure, though. I don't just want to empty this into here. I need to find out that I'm not going to get paid for it. <laughs> In fact, would have to pay to get it sorted. Right. I'll head into the office, and I will see you in a second. Yep. So they said this is the one. We're going to empty it out. They're going to calculate it as it goes in. Through the pump. And, um... 
give me the money afterwards. So here we go. I really do love this walking floor trailer. It is amazing. Anyway, I've just been back in the office. And it is £4,113. So that is absolutely amazing. £4,113. Our bank balance is looking extremely healthy right now. It really is. Anyway, it's getting dark. The sun is setting in the sky. And... Well... We've sort of run out of things to do for today. I might... I might... Start to think about looking at some new cedars. See what they can uh, do for us at the dealership, maybe. Over the coming weeks. Love to have my own cedar. We don't need anything massive. Three meter working width, absolutely fine. As long as this tractor can run it, that's all I care about. But uh, it's going to be good. I cannot wait. Right, let's get back to the farm and get things put away. Well, I've had to put my lights on. It's coming up to uh, four o'clock. No, in fact, no, it's not. <laughs> it's half past four. That's why it's so dark. Well, half past four. In November, actually, lucky to have light still at half past four, so I'm pretty pleased with that. But the sun is most definitely going down. And we have... We've just got to park this up, really. Um... In fact, let's just... Let's have a lazy day. Switch them off. Switch the engine off. And we'll leave it there. Oh, feels late. Anyway. That'll do us for today, so I'm going to head in inside. And, um... Have... Have a well deserved rest actually I'm going to have a, a nice break and put my feet up so I shall see you next time thank you so much for watching bye for now